Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise, and I've got a little bit of a different product here from a company called Myo. Explore more, it says, with the MyView 388. This is a personal drive recorder. Now, I was really interested to get this in because I love things like my GoPro. Um, I've tested other action cameras as well. And this is a little bit different because this is meant to record all the time. So you're meant to leave this mounted in your car and it captures footage sort of uh, in a sort of looping format normally. I'm not sure exactly how this one works, but you can then uh, use this as evidence if you were to either witness or be in a traffic accident and you'd have video footage of what had actually happened. So really interested to actually see how this actually performs. So a little look around the back of the packaging. It says here we've got some specifications, 2.4 inch built-in display, uh, 1080 pixel full HD recording, 120 degree wide angle lens, also a three axis G sensor which records impact direction, including turns and acceleration. Wow. Uh, day and night mode, so automatic adjustment to lighting uh, conditions. Motion detection activates and records from a parked car with no driver present. So even if your car was hit while it was parked, this would record it. We've got a photo mode as well. A detachable camera for close-ups, accident evidence collection. So you can detach this and actually take photos of the damage if you get your car damaged. GPS video login as well. European safety camera alerts with lifetime updates. So a little bit of a mixed bag of features there, a really full set of features actually. So let's see what we get inside. Let's undo this for the first time. And it's not gonna be a GoPro replacement. It's not meant to be an action camera. It's a very, very different sort of product. This is purely meant to record uh, what's happening whilst you're driving or whilst your car is unattended. So I'm just really keen to actually test this and see the sort of quality it actually delivers. So let's have a look and see what we get inside the box. And it looks like you get a lot inside. So we have got a eight gigabyte micro SD card. So that's gonna be used for recording the footage. We have got a little mount here. Let's take this out and have a proper look. So this is the mount you're gonna to use to put this on your windscreen. So we've got what looks like a secondary sort of clip device there. And then this is the suction cup to attach it to your windscreen and then some sort of ball socket mounting device on there. So that's really interesting. We've also got some adhesive pads. So these can be used for fixing it to various things. We I noticed this is a clip and it looks like this clip works with these adhesive pads. So if you were parking perhaps and you wanted to have the camera facing on the back window, you could attach one of these to your back window and very quickly switch the camera over to another viewpoint that's really nice. Then we've got some cables here. Well, this is a mini USB on this end, and this is a 12 volt vehicle accessory plug. So this is gonna plug into your accessory socket in your car or the vehicle that you're using. Then we've got some software and also some documentation in here. And I'm guessing this is gonna be the little camera device. So let's have a look. And yes, it is. So this is the MyView 388. So we've got this screen covered by a bit of plastic at the moment, and we've got the camera that's also covered at the moment. There we go, we can peel that off. And that is it good to go. It says you can lock it. So I'm not sure how that works at the moment. Can you turn this? Nope, but anyway, it says a little lock mechanism there. This is where it's gonna to attach to that suction mount. This is the actual element that's gonna do the recording. Built-in speaker or microphone, I'm assuming that's a speaker though. On the side here, we've got H HDMI out, we've got the USB charging socket. On this side here, the memory card slot, the power on off button. Let's see if we've got any power in it. We got any power? We have got power, wow. So we've got power in it already, so we can have a little look at the user interface. It says no card in there at the moment. Is it touchscreen? It's not touchscreen, but we can get the menu up. So we've got file playback, GPS status, auto time zone, date and time and timestamp. We've got something here which looks like for speed cameras. Let's push that, doesn't do anything at the moment. We've got this one here for taking photos and this one here for taking uh, videos. And I assume you've got some automatic settings in here as well. 
but because there's no card it's not actually going to do anything but a reasonable display it's very blue but that's probably to do with my studio lights but yeah it's a, at least we've got a built-in display so you can actually see what that camera is picking up so very very keen to test this i will bring you a second video on this i'm going to attach this to my car and just sort of forget it's there for a week or so and then gather all of the footage that this has captured on the card and give you a look at what it actually records like and my experience with it as well so this is the myo my view 388 it's a personal sort of driving recorder to capture if anyone sort of maliciously damages or crashes into your car or if you witness an accident or you are in a road accident this can be used as evidence so very very interesting device thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this unboxing please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my second video on this little device and so you don't miss out on my other great content as well thanks very much for watching i'll see you all next time